before learning that Ray Shiro is out as general manager of this club. The team announcing in a statement just about an hour ago the Devils and Ray Shiro have agreed to part ways effective immediately. In the interim, Tom Fitzgerald, who has been assistant general manager of the Devils, will now move into that interim GM position. And Martin Brodeur will also serve now as an advisor to and on hockey operations. Shiro has served as GM of the Devils since May 4th, 2015. And over those years, his record 157, 167, and 48 overall. Just about 20 minutes ago, managing partner Josh Harris and Tom Fitzgerald, now the interim general manager of this club, address the media. Here are their thoughts and a little bit more insight into this decision. Hello, everyone. I think you guys have read the statement. Um, you know, we Devils have decided to move in a different direction uh, from Ray Shero. Ray was a really talented uh, NHL executive and we wish him incredibly well in the future. He did some great things for our organization, but the reality is we're not where we want to be. Uh, and we thought it was the right thing to do to move in a different direction. You know, we're, we're, not, we're lucky enough to have a very high quality organization, including uh, Tom Fitzgerald, who'll step in as uh, acting uh, general manager. Marty Brodeur, who's, as you know, uh, one of the greatest NHL players ever, um, is going to uh, take on an added role of uh, advisor to hockey operations. And we're going to start a search for our next GM, which will include very strongly considering Tom. And look, we're optimistic about our future. These things are never easy. Uh, but we thought this was the right thing to do. Um, and um, we're moving forward to our fans. Uh, we're really committed to winning. Uh, we weren't winning enough, and so uh, um, we look for. We're optimistic, and we're going to uh, put it all into delivering you a winning franchise here in New Jersey. Thank you. Open it up for questions. Why was this the right time? Uh, you know, there's never a good time. There's never a good time to do this. But once you make these decisions, um, you have to act on them. And we thought this was the right thing to do for the franchise. Was there something that led to this that? It, or was that this been in the works for a, a little while? You know, the, this we're just not getting it done. Uh, you know, we haven't uh, we haven't been winning, uh, and so uh, you know, this is uh, there. there it wasn't the, there was nothing really specific. I mean, you guys know the record. Uh, you know everything that's been done. There were a lot of positives, but uh, it was just time to go in a different direction. Yeah, I spoke to Ray this afternoon, and he was uh, a gentleman about it. He understood. Um, it's, uh, what, you know, it's the right thing. He appreciated where we were coming from. He wished us well, and we wished him well. And so he, he took it uh, as well as you can take something like this where it's a change in your life. What was the conversation with the team like? You know, the team uh, is, uh, is, is doing a good job. They're committed to winning as well, and uh, they, they appreciate that sometimes these things need to happen, and they were, um, they listened intently, and they were, um, you know, they were supportive, and now, and they're pretty focused on winning tonight. In past years, you guys have kind of had records like this, but what's been different about this year that says, okay, now is the time that we need yeah, there's nothing really different or it's more a function of, look, we're not, we don't do these things lightly. Uh, we're, we're, we take a long-term approach, but the reality is this, we're now in our fifth season and uh, we've made the playoffs once and it was just time for a change. The timeline of when you want to be competitive again. When you want to what? When you want to be competitive again. Um, <clears throat> as soon as possible. And I mean, I think we have a great young nucleus of players. We have cap space. We have a full uh, slate of draft picks. So uh, it's on us, and especially this man. And obviously, today was a, a, a bit of a shock, to say the least. Um, you know, just drove in for the game and was asked to, you know, speak to to our leadership group, our owners and, and our managing partners, and Hugh Weber. Um, yeah, I, I mean, listen, this has been a whirlwind few, couple hours for myself. I'm, I know how, how much of a whirlwind is for, for everybody here um, with this, this difficult decision. Um, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> I never thought I would become a general manager uh, like this. Um, I've worked hard. I've had, uh, I've had a great mentor. Um, I've been around other great people that have challenged myself and others uh, believe in challenging um, 
but this is what it is right now for, for myself. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the challenge. I'm sad for my friend, um, my mentor. Uh, but right now, I just want to take it one day at a time. Um, the communication between Josh, David, myself, uh, the help of Marty Brodeur, um, obviously Hugh Weber and Scott O'Neill. I'm, I'm, I'm a young, young face in this seat, and I'm going to need all the help I can um, till the dust settles down and, and, and the hockey stuff just becomes natural back for me. Um, so decisions, uh, personnel-wise, uh, that's something we're going to go over as a, as a group. Next week, we start our, our entire scouting meetings, pro and amateur, uh, with our entire, our entire hockey ops department. So uh, those are going to be a focal point, obviously, for the draft, focal point for uh, where this team's at and what we do at the trade deadline. Tom, can you just speak a little bit about the different roles that you've had this season and, and what it has been like overall? Obviously, you can feel some of the emotion right now coming from you. Well, I, yeah, I've, I've had uh, an abundance of roles. Um, I didn't even answer Abby's question about Binghamton. I can still continue to oversee that with the help of Dan McKinnon. We'll, I'll lean on him a lot, too. Um, you know what? I, I just feel like that utility baseball player that's played every position and and I think it served me well and I think it'll continue to serve me well um, again I'm 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 going to need the help of a lot of people um, but at the end of the day you know the, the, the support that I've been shown th thus far with this organization through Josh and David um, and our leadership group with you and Scott O'Neill uh, I I just don't want to disappoint anybody but I'm, I need to be myself as well um, and I need to lead on my the staff uh, that Ray had put in place and there are a lot of good people like Josh has mentioned a lot of a lot of times here that we have a lot of good people um, and whether it's my playing background, now my coaching background, my managing background from minor league scouting, development, um, I, I, I know it's going to serve me well.